Fe featuring over 100 works drawn from more than 10 collections, the Studio and Contemporary Glass on Florida's West Coast Exhibition at the Fine Arts Museum in downtown St. Petersburg showcases works from some of the best glass artists from across the state. And joining us now is Director of the Museum of Fine Arts, Arts Dr. Kent Lidecker, and Contemporary Glass artist Marlena Rose. Ladies and gentlemen, nice Thank to you. see you. It's great to nice be here. To see so you this too. is celebrating, and I wrote this down, the 50th anniversary of the Studio Glass Movement. What, what was that? What is that? How did it get going? Tell well, us about it. Back in the, uh, in the early 1960s, a group of artists really broke new ground with regard to using glass. Was this is, nationwide or in a specific spot in the country? It began in the upper Midwest at the Toledo Museum, and then it spread all over. Okay. And the idea is to take glass as a medium from some kind of industrial vessel-making world into something that an individual artist can control from beginning to end. And artists have just gone crazy doing the most creative and imaginative thing. I'm sorry, it takes a lot of specialized equipment to do this though, doesn't it? I mean, you really have to know what you're, I mean, you're talking hot liquid glass. Well, and Marlena, we understand you're one of the pioneers in this particular uh, technology or type of glass forming. Explain how it is that you come about these amazing shapes that you create. Well, um, I basically, make the shapes out of another material and right now I'm using insulating foam it's a fabulous carving material so I make shapes of all sorts butterflies heads bells um, all kinds of different work but I basically in the 1980s was taught this method as it was being developed it's an old metal casting technique that has been around forever and glass has been around forever but just the development of this technique in glass was just just pioneered in the 1980s, which mm -hmm. is when I learned it. And um, so you can come up with new and exciting ways to to work with glass, and it's 2,000 degrees when you pour it, and so very where do you dangerous. Go? Get your fingers in there. Where do you right. go to buy a glass oven or an oven that will get to 2,000 degrees? And where do you where do you keep that? I mean, it's it's somewhat dangerous work, isn't it? Very dangerous. It's a it's a big cauldron that has to be made specifically for you know, melting the glass. It's all kinds of specialty equipment and You actually ovens. have a cauldron. I have a cauldron. You're like a mad scientist. Wow. You're I an evil mad scientist. <laughs> wow. she's, she's a good witch, Jerome. <laughs> she's a good witch. Wow. But you carve it originally out of foam and then you make a mold? How does that work? Basically, it's a stamp and a pour technique. So I stamp this shape I carved out of this insulating foam. You could use wood or really anything. You press it into sand, wet sand. It's not dry beach sand. Okay. You pack the shape around the sand and then you take it out and you're left with a negative. Okay. And then this I also carved in the foam and I press it in the sand and then I pour the molten glass in the hole. 2,000 degrees, it sets up in about 20 minutes, and then I take it out of the mold and I put it in a cooling oven that slowly cools it from 1,000 degrees to room temperature mm -hmm. over the course of about a week. Oh, wow. Dr. Lidecker, this is, as Marlena is mentioning, you know, some of these techniques, if you really uh, delve into, you know, artist, artistic history, they're relatively new they're um, to the new art world. It's very much a don't try this as at home art form. <laughs> <laughs> you really have to know what you're doing. But, uh, you know, we have, I think, we have 87 artists represented in the exhibition at the Museum of Fine Arts. They're from all over the world, uh, as well as prominent local artists such as Marlena and uh, Chuck Books and Duncan McClellan and uh, just Owen Potch, amazing people. And when they come into the show, they start talking, I wonder how he did that or how did she get that effect? Because the possibilities are virtually endless. You look at these pieces and you think, that's not glass, that's got to be stone or bone or metal or who knows what. Well, that's what we said when we were looking at some of the uh, the works that we were showing earlier. So I don't know, if, can we get to take camera three and get a shot of that red one that Holly and I were looking at? Because we looked this at that. This is the soundless bell. This looks like, from a distance, so it looks like one of those giant jelly candies. We looked at that <laughs> and wanted to take a bite out of it. But I mean, obviously it's not, but that you, you wouldn't, you look at that and you, it's not immediately apparent that it's even glass. And that's what's so exciting, you know, it's just, you know, there's a school that Dale Chihuly started um, called Pilchuck, and, um, you know, the artists gather, it's been going on for 20, 30 years, and you exchange ideas, and you, you know, I, I want to put metal in, in the glass, and I, I be haven't been having success, and then someone will say, well, did you try copper? And so it's this exchange, and, you know, you grow, and, and all of the artists that are, 
pretty much a part of this movement are still alive. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, it's like the Bronze Age in glass right now. There's so it's, much it's happening. It's interesting you say that, Marlena, because these pieces that you brought into the studio, if to my eye, they're referencing Asian forms, mm -hmm. Asian bell forms. This is, looks like an Asian bell or a Shang Dynasty bronze. So that we're looking at a contemporary work, but it's referencing the whole history of human creativity across the whole of the world. Well, there are a lot of artists, but fortunately, we've got a long time before this collection goes away. That's right, but we want to tell you how you can see the exhibit. It's going on right now at uh, the St. Petersburg Museum of Fine Arts. We're going to give you all the information here and also at studio10.tv. It's available for you there as well. But uh, it goes for how long, Dr. Lidegger? It'll be here through October. Okay. And uh, th then in October, we're going to, or November, we're going to have an amazing exhibition come in the art of golf, which is something very oh, top of my head. That's, a, that's a big 180 turn there. That's oh. pretty fun. <laughs> well. So, uh, and again, it's find-arts.org and studio10.tv for more information. Thank you both so much for being with us. Great Thank pleasure you. to be here. Oh, I guess transporting all this stuff is pretty nerve-wracking, isn't it? It is. Well. And we just had a piece in front of the Museum of Fine Arts, a big 11-foot piece, and we put it up three days before Debbie. Oh, oh no. no! And it was fine, but it was glass. It was 11 foot, and I was a nervous wreck. Oh, Is it going to be okay? Gosh. But it was okay.